Hey guys, it's Yaya and welcome back to my channel. You guys have been requesting an emulsified no melt body butter and I will be doing that today. Traditional butters are made up of mainly solid butters that melt super easy, especially in the summer heat. Emulsified butters include water. This makes them a great alternative because you can still get that thick, rich, pipeable texture without the melt. An emulsified butter is the emulsification of water and oil just like lotion or a really thick cream. However, it has a larger oil phase to kind of try to mimic the traditional body butter. So that's what we're gonna try to do today. Today's video is brought to you by Skillshare. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So how do you make an emulsified body butter? Today we're gonna to be making an emulsified mango body butter. We will bring together a small water phase with a large oil phase and see how it goes. Starting with the water phase, I'm using distilled water, of course. Since we're adding water, we wanna make sure we have the purest kind as possible to discourage any kind of microorganisms or bacteria or anything from growing in our body butter, okay? For our humectant, we're going to be adding glycerin. It's going to draw in some great moisture into your skin, keeping it soft, and it's going to also add some texture to our body butter. We're going to also use it to make a slurry with our xanthan gum. Xanthan gum is a thickener and is usually added to the water phase in order to thicken up the water and give your body butter just a little bit more texture, okay? So I'm just going to create a slurry with a little bit of glycerin here, and this is how it looks just in case any of you guys have never seen a slurry before. Once it looks like this, you can go ahead and add it into your water phase. And then you just wanna mix that in good. Usually you would use an immersion blender to go ahead and blend in your xanthan gum and help it hydrate faster. But since we'll be emulsifying this with the oil phase later on, it will be fine to sit it to the side for now and just let it hydrate. All right, so now we can move on to our oil phase. The water phase was pretty simple. However, this time we have a pretty large oil phase, so let's jump right into it. I'm starting off with mango butter because what's an emulsified mango body butter without real mango butter? You guys know that this is one of my favorite butters to use in my traditional body butters, so um, I definitely had it to add it here. I'm just cutting it up into small pieces to make it easier for me to measure and also melt down. Mango butter is great for softening the skin and adding and sealing in moisture. It is also great for healing if you have any issues with eczema, uh, psoriasis, and other issues of that sort. So it is a great butter to add. Next up, I'm using red palm oil. This is a great oil for healing the skin and reducing any kind of skin issues you may have when it comes to acne, if you have aging skin or a cancerous skin, it's really great with soothing those type of ailments, okay? So this is a really great oil to invest in, okay? I'm also gonna be using it as a colorant in order to give my body butter that mango type color. Now, I was going for more of an orange color for my mango butter, but I don't think I used enough of the red palm oil in in order to get that more orange color so once it mixed with the mango butter it became a more on the yellowish uh, orange side which is okay I think that still is a great representation of mango if you want to skip the natural coloring altogether you can just use coconut oil for your liquid oil phase um, because it's a clear oil and you can get a white butter white to ivory butter Next, I'm using Natural Seal. This is a silicone alternative. It will help improve the skin feel of your body butter, giving it that velvety, smooth texture. It is a great replacement for traditional silicones, okay? Next, I'm going to be adding my emulsifier. Lotion Pro 165 is a combination of glycerol stearate and PEG 100 stearate. This emulsifier creates emulsions with a less waxy feel because it does not add any thickness and it gives it more of a light buttery feel. As a co-emulsifier, I'm using Montanove L. 
I chose this emulsifier because it can emulsify up to 60% oil phase, which is a very large amount, while keeping a very light, ultra soft texture to the body butter. I didn't want it to be too heavy or waxy, so this is the perfect emulsifier. So in order to complement these emulsifiers, I'm using subtle alcohol as a thickener and stabilizer. Because we have such a large um, butter phase, oil phase, I want to make sure that the emulsion will be stable and this will also increase the melt point so this will further uh, stabilize the product so that it will not melt. So that's it for our oil phase, which makes up about 40% of our entire formula, which is pretty large. Most of the time I use about 25% or less uh, fatty phase when I'm doing emulsion. So this is pretty large for me and um, I'm really excited to see uh, how this comes out. So I'm going to go ahead and place my oil phase into a water bath on the stove for just about 10 minutes. It didn't take long for it to melt at all btms 50 is a lot harder to melt down but these emulsifiers melted quickly so i was really happy about that and so this is what is looking like once my oil phase has melted down you can see it has a really beautiful color and i'm excited to go ahead and mix in the heated water phase i have already heated up my water phase to a similar temperature you can see now it's pretty smooth and thick here just beautiful this is going to add so much texture to this body butter so now i'm just going to combine the water in oil phase so i'm going to pour my water phase into my oil phase and then use my immersion blender to make sure that they blend perfectly Make sure you blend thoroughly because the oil phase is so large. I want to make sure that it is completely blended and everything has emulsified well and there will be no separation. Um, because it's such a large oil phase, it is a lot thicker and so it took a little longer to uh, make sure I blended everything evenly. Okay, But this is how it came out and I think it looks really great. I'm loving the consistency so far but it's definitely not as thick as a body butter is supposed to be but remember it is still piping hot right now so we need it to cool for us to see the final texture so you can let it sit overnight and let it firm that way but um i'm a little impatient so i set mine in the freezer actually because i also wanted to see if i could whip it up like a traditional body butter so that i can pipe it okay so i covered it up and i placed it in the freezer for about 30 to 35 minutes and this is what it's looking like it is super thick but it's beautiful absolutely beautiful and i was very happy with it because it re really did remind me of a uh, traditional like body butter definitely not super smooth right now but you will see how it looks very smooth once we whip it up so now we're going to move on to our cool down phase which is just our preservative and of course our fragrance uh, the preservative is not optional, but your fragrance is. I found that the red palm oil really did give this body butter a natural, beautiful uh, smell anyway. But I did go ahead and add some fresh mango uh, fragrance oil just to give it a little extra oomph. You definitely need a preservative because there's water in here. Um, you need a preservative to make sure that no nasties or bacteria is growing into your body butter, okay? 
So once you added those, you can go ahead and just whip it up. I'm using a whisk here, but you can use any mixer. You'll like a hand mixer to whip up your body butter. And I whipped this for a good minute because I just wanted to see if I can get it as fluffy and light as a traditional body butter as I could. So while I'm whipping that up, I wanted to go ahead and give you guys an update on my progress with Skillshare. As you guys know, I have been using Skillshare for a couple, well, a few months now, and I have been enjoying learning. With Skillshare, I was able to learn an entirely new skill in just a few weeks and apply it to my business almost immediately. You guys have seen how I have been improving on my thumbnails and how they have progressed and improved. Since I've been taking the class from Daniel Scott, my abilities have definitely increased and I'm very, very happy with my progress. So what is Skillshare? Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and who wants to explore their creativity activity and learn new skills it's the perfect way to invest in yourself in your personal growth and you can have confidence in knowing that you're learning from experts in their field people who actually work in their field and they lay out the courses in such a way that is so easy to navigate they're short they're simple to take in and easy to learn so definitely check out the description box down below if you like an opportunity to try out skillshare the first 1000 people to use the link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so definitely check it out below and join the creative community okay all right you guys we have been whipping and does this look like a traditional body butter this looks just like a traditional body butter just let me know leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think about the texture of this body butter it is amazing it also feels amazing on the skin it is super super easy to absorb in the skin it doesn't leave that oily greasy feel like traditional body butters do so if you're somebody who prefer like a little something a little less greasy and that absorbs a lot faster and um, into the skin then you probably would prefer uh emulsified body butter more than you would a traditional body butter so you should definitely give it a try especially if you're a small business who are looking to sell body butters throughout the summer if you don't want to spend the extra expenses on insulation and uh ice packs and things of that sort an emulsified butter might be the way to go of course you might have to tweak a few things as far as uh pricing and all that type of stuff because you know it's not fully the raw butter you're adding other ingredients to kind of make up for that um so it will not melt so um yeah you know those things that you can work out but other than that i think it's a great substitute it will never be the traditional body butter no matter how much you try but i think this comes pretty darn close i think i really know the texture here what do you guys think for me the biggest thing was making it thick enough to be able to pipe it so let's do a little quick asmr break so you guys can see how well it pipes This looks so rich and thick and creamy and it is pipeable, you guys. Oh, wow. I'm really, really happy. I'm so happy with how this came out. I can't wait to try different colors. I want to do like a swirl design with this. Oh, I can I cannot wait to test this out. I really am so excited about this texture. Now let's see how it pipes with a different tip. so this one definitely sounded more like a traditional butter when it was piping so yeah i love it look at that swirl you guys oh, i'm just so excited and like i'm telling you guys it is not super waxy it's not tacky it has this really light lotion like absorbency if that's the way i can explain it but it is thick 
and it definitely helps to give you that richness that you're looking for from a traditional body butter so i definitely hope you guys give this a try i hope this is what you guys were asking for and looking for um and yeah i really enjoyed this video i will definitely do this again i want to do it with some different colors and i also want to try it with an even larger oil phase i think i want to try to get up to about 55 60 and see what happens using these same emulsifiers um, because I like I said I want to make sure it doesn't get too tacky feeling okay so we might do that in, a, in the next couple of videos okay I would give this DIY an 8 out of 10 just because uh, the color was almost there not completely there and also like I said I just want the oil face to be even thicker okay so anyway like subscribe comment down below I'm thinking about giving this away what do you guys think leave a comment down below if you want to try this emulsified butter.